Hey everyone, welcome to a, yet another ASP video. In this video, I would like to demonstrate ASP running in six channel mode. Uh, this is a new uh, addition to ASP. It'll be available on the next firmware release and of course available on all ASP sold after, after this video. So what's it, just the last week of August? Okie dokie. Um, to run in six channel mode, of course, you then, well, you have a six channel system and you would, of course, leave channel seven, your grey wire there, your weapons control uh, wire unplugged. You can, of course, run six channel mode with an eight channel receiver. But for this demonstration, I'm going to run using one of these Hobby King six channel radios, which you may be familiar with, uh, or the variants of, and uh, use the Hobby King um, six channel receiver there. Now when you're using one of these radios, I've got this one, this one is a uh, pretty much an unmodified one from from the warehouse. Uh, don't forget whatever stick your throttle is on, if you haven't centered it, when you start up make sure that you have the stick in, your cent in the central position there. Okay, so let's fire it up and see what happens. Now I have ASP running in IR mode so that when I fire the cannon it will go automatically. We have our intro music while the Mako initializes and you go through your program period. Okay, now unlike 4 channel mode, it will hold here until you have the signal on channel 5. Um, like the higher modes, you can turn your intro music off simply by firing the gun. And I have the gun set up on this switch up here. So, you know, the firing of the gun while it's got intro music going will mute that on, well, off in this case, or back on again. To turn the tank on, I've got this assigned, channel 5 assigned on um, this switch here. So uh, just a flick of that switch will turn the unit on. Now I guess the benefit of six channel control is that you will finally get your volume control back. So I've got channel six assigned to this pot. So we can just dial that down. So we've got our volume control on um, channel six. There are no extra switches. So, you know, again, this is part of, you, you have to make a decision on, on what type of radio you're gonna use. Without the extra switches, you can't access all of the additional sounds available on channel 6. There just physically isn't the capability on this radio to do that. Um, so you need to be aware of that. Okay, um, everything works as you would expect. The throttle channel. Okay. What did I just... I don't know why even by removing that. There we go, we've got nice slow control there. Let's see how slow we can go. There we go. Everyone loves slow driving tanks. So you've got really nice slow control there with ASP. And then, of course, as you speed up, away we go. Oh, it appears I've got this in uh, reverse mode too, by the way. And then let's go into reverse. Okay, so there's our throttle control on that stick. And of course, we've got the steering either side. I uh, haven't got a turret motor connected, just your elevation motor. But the turret motor, as you can see, as we go over, now we've got our, our turret controls there. Elevation motor, let's fire that up. Now, if you connect up to the uh, special elevation motor port there, you'll have uh, up and down controls. So that's one way, and as you've noticed, when we go back this way, the motor will spin the opposite direction. Okay, dokey, weapons fire. Now, the weapons fire is on channel three because you know we've disconnected channel seven. So we have this switch assigned for the main cannon. Okay, that will fire your main cannon. And if you want to fire your machine gun on this particular setup, you simply go up stick. You might just need to, just like your Tamiya, just tweak the um, trim a bit. Is it down stick? 
Which way is it? There we go. So you just tweak that till you get your um, machine gun firing. Okay, and cannon again. There we go. So that's um, base, your basic setup control. Actually, I should talk more about there. Um, we have this switch assigned to channel 5, and then we can adjust the different settings with this knob, for example. So uh, if we dial it all the way back this way, it will turn off our headlight. Come back now, if you were to maybe leave some marks there so you can see what's happening. If you just come back a little bit, it should toggle the auxiliary light. Uh, it's still on headlight, so just dial it a bit more. There we go. You can see if we did have an auxiliary light connected, it would be toggling the auxiliary light. Go up a little bit more. Just go up a little bit. And um, there we go. That will be toggling on and off your smoke machine. Again, with the channel 5 there, you've got all the channel 5 options. So we can turn our engine off with a short, a short toggle. Um, with the engine off, of course, you've got so all your weapons functioning and you go into manual rotation of your turret. Okay, so you've got your guns and your machine guns. To get um, turn your engine back on, you can of course just a simple toggle of that switch again and away she goes. To turn off your tank it's a long press on 100% on channel 5, so we're going to shut down now. We've gone over 5 minutes as usual. There we go. Long switch and off. And your tank will be turned off and it will reset, well, and, and start back up again. Intro music will play until Mako initializes, and when Mako has initialized, you can leave that on to remind you that you know your tank system's on or you can mute it and then just rely on keeping an eye on your flashing LED but that's it that's our ass working in six channel mode and um, with one of these really cheap uh, Hobby King radios thank you